We are on the Lake Marion Conservation Area. It's in Polk County. It is a property that South Florida owns and Fish and Wildlife manages along with us. We are doing a wetland transect. A transect is a line. We are establishing the wetland boundary and going down slope linearly to establish different wetland indicators at each point. I'm Lisa Prather. I'm an environmental analyst with the South Florida Water Management District. That's what I'm calling Mucky Pete. We have a sub team that's doing wetland evaluation and wetland monitoring. We have representatives of the Southwest Florida Water Management District, the South Florida Water Management District, and St. John's River Water Management District. Today is a day where is part of the CFWI. CFWI is the Central Florida Water Initiative. It's a cooperative effort between the three water management districts and the utilities in Central Florida to work on ensuring that there's sustainable water available to the population here. We get together about once a year you know, all the wetland scientists from the three water management districts and the soil scientists to make sure we're doing everything the same way. I'm Kim Rouse Halswart. I'm a senior environmental scientist with the Southwest Florida Water Management District. You can see the water comes up to here. The importance of having the wetlands monitored within the whole region, you know, helps us to make sure the wetlands are being protected. We're trying to get a picture of how our wetland edges are responding to groundwater use trying to identify whether or not these soils are letting us know whether water is at the surface or close enough to the surface to meet what the state's definition of wetlands are. My name is Lance Hart and I work with the St. John's River Water Management District. I'm a technical program coordinator for wetland evaluation and delineation. All of what we've done has been a team effort. <laughs> I'm Chris Esterson. I work for the South Florida Water Management District as a geologist. This is the groundwater monitoring well that's associated with the work we've been doing in the wetlands. We monitor the wetlands to see if there's any changes in hydrology and vegetation and soils there. And then we want to connect that back to see what's driving it. And it could be groundwater, which is monitored by this well, or it could be rainfall. So we look at rainfall data and we try to tease out what's the, the major driver of the situation. You see those lines are 18 to 20 inches higher. This is a great experience for all three agencies to come together, make sure we're doing it the same way. We're all looking at the wetland boundary the same. We're looking at the indicators the same. It's just a great collaboration. I look for hardwoods first. It's very important for me to be involved in this. It's very challenging work because A, the scope of work is pretty extensive. The number of wetlands that the three districts need to set up is pretty ambitious. We have 107 sites within the CFWI that we're targeting to establish this monitoring effort. It's a 20-year monitoring program, and what we're doing today at this wetland, um, South Florida will come back in five years and do the exact same thing. So all of the wetlands that we're setting up will be monitored every five years. The work is fairly demanding because, you know, we're outdoors, we're working in all conditions uh, throughout the year and trying to establish Pretty moist already. these sample points and all these wetlands. And I think it's very important that we get this work done correctly and consistently because the importance of this information for our water supply planners, our modelers in the future, I think it demands good information. It means a lot to me. It's a big effort. I've spent the majority of my career, 30 years now, on and off working in wetlands, especially in the Central Florida area. So it's great to be able to put all that knowledge to use, you know, to, to set up this, this wetland monitoring program throughout you know, the Central Florida Water Initiative region. We're going to get a GPS location of each soil boring. It's exciting stuff for me because I like telling the, the full story, not just doing the hydrogeology, but connecting it to biology and all the other aspects and to uh, the regional plan at large and to uh, uh, something on this scale is a rare opportunity to be part of. And so I'm excited about that. It's very important. I feel like it's my favorite part of my job. Actually, we get to go out here in, in the natural environment and look at something big picture. For me personally, it's, uh, it's very important work because, you know, I have children and this is a legacy. You know, these systems, our water, are all legacies for our children and future generations. Mm -hmm.